Insomnia from UnrealTech.net here. Today we're going to go over the second and last official part of the multiplayer network chat box tutorial by setting up both our HUD widget and HUD class and then test it and we'll probably set up a key in the character to uh, focus and defocus it for allowing chatting in game. So uh, open up your project and let's get going again. In the last part, we went ahead and we set up a player state that allowed basically any player to send a chat message with their message and their name attached and it sent it to the server so that the server was able to both broadcast and receive chat messages. If we look at that again quickly, we can see we handle chat messages, broadcasting, receiving. And we set up a game mode and we set our player state to that. Today, let's set up our HUD class. So I'm gonna create a new blueprint, which I am going to make of the class HUD, HUD underscore chat box. To the first thing we're going to need to do is on event begin play. First of all, let's add a variable called w underscore main HUD. I don't think we actually created that. In our UI folder, let's just create a widget w underscore main HUD. And we'll go back to our HUD class. Actually, while we're at it, while we have this up, our game mode, let's set our game mode to HUD chat box to it and we can compile and save that and go back into our HUD and then we will set this variable to that widget main HUD. We can just go ahead and create a widget. Uh, create a widget and we want to create that widget main HUD and the owning player we want to be get owning player controller. The player controller that owns this HUD as you can see the target is a HUD class. So let's alt drag that in and set it that way we have a direct reference to it let's uh pop over to our widget main hud class let's add a variable called our hud let's set that to our hud class so hud underscore chatbox tutorial reference we want to make that available as a direct reference let's uh let's set this to editable and expose on spawn in case we need that back to our hud we can go ahead and we can drag off of here and then set hud we'll give it a connection and then we want a reference to self so that way we have in our HUD, we have a direct uh, memory reference to our main HUD widget. And in our main HUD widget, we have a reference to our HUD. Let's create a few event dispatches before we get too far. So we want on chat message received. In that event dispatcher, we'll do our same as before, text and text, in which we had the sender and the chat message. Also, on player begin type chat message. Well, that will just be a single uh, event that we bind. Create a rewrote for this, and let's add to viewport. And since we're going to be focusing and defocusing it for chatting, I'll just set the Z order to something high like 10. So that whole section there, create our main HUD widget on screen and create references back and forth between the two classes. All right. Next up, what we want to do is we want to check for new player states. So we want to do a cast to PS tutorial. What we want to cast to it is, oh, maybe we can do a reroute. Yeah, get owning player controller. We'll just reroute it all the way across. And we want to get, remember I told you, you could always do get player state. So at any time you can always get the player state. And as you can see, it is replicated. So we are casting a player state into the player state and bind we want to bind an event to on received a chat message so we'll connect those pins up just like so and the event we're going to bind to that we will create a new custom event let me see if i can remember my hotkey whoa -ho. we will say receive a chat message and what we want to do on 
that event is simply call on chat message received. So drag it in there and call it. And you guessed it, connect the dots. So we're checking for a player state. If we find one, if a new player comes in, then we want to forward all chat messages directly to anything that is listening to them such as the chat box and we can do that kind of hackishly one of the easiest ways by simply just creating a oncast fail going all the way back into there actually that will bug out so oncast fail we'll just do a short delay we don't want to be checking for new players every frame um you can do it like every half second maybe I mean, it doesn't matter if they have to wait a half second to get uh, new HUD information, such as chat messages. It might mean more if we had stuff like a scoreboard or something that was more gameplay um, important. Again, we go back to gameplay importance if you've been following my networking tutorials. But I'm sure it will work just fine like uh, that for our needs. So basically, we are just uh, checking for a new player state every 0.5 seconds, cast succeeds, um, bind event to forward chat messages to their HUD. Yeah, that should work. So now that that's done, we can compile and save, and we can go over to our main widget HUD. So what we can do is we can add our chat box main in here and we can size it one pixel off but not a big deal. So this is visible is where we're going to be setting the uh, focusing. You'll notice if we compile and save and let's open up a map real quick. So if we set this up we want our third person character, our game mode and our world settings, our HUD, player controller, game state, player state so if we hit play it's oh I'm set on two players let's just set it to a one for now you know it's when we hit play apparently I'm not a third person <laughs> anyways um we don't have a chat box do we make them invisible somehow we did that's interesting mannequin that's better so as you can see though we don't have a chat box we do have a lot of motion blur however but if we go to our widget main HUD and set that to visible, which is actually in the widget uh, chat main, but since we uh, brought it in, we get a direct reference to it and it's editable variables, it's public variables. You see we now uh, have a chat box. Now to be able to focus on it, I have to alt tab or I have to shift F1, go into the chat box and try to type. You'll notice nothing works yet but we can make it visible that way. We'll set it visible by default for now. But uh, in our graph, let's start working. So uh, on event construct, we want to bring in our HUD reference and let's create a, we'll start with a bind event to, bind event to on chat message receive. And we'll make a rewrote. I'm going to do this above so it gets less messy actually. We want to bind event to on player begin type. So what we want to do is um, on chat message received off of event create event. We want to get a reference to self. Do that here too. Create event reference to self. And so we're going to fill these up with some functions. So let's, uh, one of them is really easy. All we have to do is create a custom event called on begin on player begin type chat message. And just select that function on player begin chat message, compile and save. That one is good. Um, however, for the actual on chat message received, we need to create a quick little function. So let's create a function called on chat message receive and two inputs, not of type name, of type text. You guessed it. Sender and chat message. Compile and save. Go back to our event graph and now we can set that like so. Can I get away without 
Yeah, that's going to itself. That should work. So next up, what we want to do is simply, uh, let's go to on chat message received here. And all we got to do is drag in our chat main widget as a getter and add message container child. Because remember, we're adding that to a um, scroll box. So we're adding a panel child, essentially children. And on player begin typing chat message, we want to uh, the same widget. And off of that, we want to get chat in widget. So the actual input part. And off of that, we want to get text, get input text box, the actual box that we're typing into where we can uh, hit enter, if you remember from last time. So now we want to get owning player so that we know who's, who's, who's typing this chat message, who the heck is typing. Then we want to set input mode UI only. And we want that to be the target. And the widget focus is gonna be the input chat, or the input text box rather. Rewrote both of these. Set B show mouse cursor. That works just like a get player controller. False set keyboard focus. This is fairly new. I think it was uh, only brought up in 4.7 as experimental and 4.8 or 4.9 it was official. So we can compile and save. Let's see what that does. Compile, save, play. All right, so if I go ahead and check, as you can see, it adds something, but it doesn't. And you can see our, um, our, what do you call it? Our nice gradient is working and it should stop at some point. There we go, so it's stopping there. So we just have some ears apparently. And that ear is directly right here in this return node. It's not being able to access our widget chat box main widget reference that we created here. So the first place to uh, make sure, since obviously that was chat messages that weren't getting uh, sent, the first place to look where this problem might lie would probably be the main chat and in our event graph. As you can see, we forgot uh, to add a self-reference on our exposed on spawn uh, widget chat box main widget which we should have gone and say, uh, create a new chat message in the scroll box mess message container, and then scroll to end. I'll save, now let's try playing. So shift F1, chat. There we go, player 262 is able to type and totally opaque chat messages. Let's get it up to, whoa, let's get it up to the top there. Perfect, so as you can see, it starts cutting off. Let's hop into our third person character quick and let's set up the ability to uh, focus in and off of the chat box without having to do all that shift F1 junk, which obviously your players wouldn't have. And actually, since we're professional blueprinters, <laughs> a better place would probably be a player controller since we haven't created one yet. So let's create a player controller called PC underscore and we'll just call this chat box tut. So what we want to do is um, we want a key like T for typing. In fact, let's go edit project settings input action mappings. Let's add one called chat. And let's bind that to the key T. So let's go back to our player controller and let's go input action chat. So on input action chat, what are we gonna do? We want to get our HUD. So the HUD owned by this player controller. And off of that return value, we want to cast to our HUD when we press the chat button and we want to call 
on player begin type chat message because remember that does all that UI whatever stuff so let's compile save and let's set our player controller to our new player controller first of all let's save everything up so we can walk around we hit T and we stop moving and we can chat but we have a problem we cannot stop we cannot regain movement we are stuck in the chat box so First place to check is back in our chat main, no, our widget main hood. Back in our designer, um, selecting the chat main. Let's, is visible, set to false. Compile, save, and play. Now when we hit T, the chat box uh, appears. We can type, and then we're allowed to go back and do our own thing. We hit T again, we can chat again, and then we can go back to doing our own thing automatically. Oh, we're not getting our fading, our opacity, and that is bugging me. There we go, okay, it's fading out slowly. I guess just because I set it to such a long time. But there we go, it fades out. And bring it back up, boom, boom, boom. And if we don't type anything, as you can see, uh, remember we said if it was empty, then it just sets it immediately to transparent. So we can just quickly bring up the chat. And you do have to do one key press to gain focus back in. And we can probably do some hacks to get around that, but that is chatting. Let's check the uh, multiplayer now. So let's play with two players. So let's T chat, hello. 267 says hello. And 266 has slow. There we have it. 267, 266 can chat to each other. So that is a basic chat box. Um, there's a lot more we could do to make this uh, funky and looking cooler. We could work on that. That material there. You probably work on that making it a little bit uh, more wide that can be played with a little bit I'm gonna call it good enough for there and uh, in a future video when I have time we will go and we will uh, we'll add some uh, more funkiness to it like say player colors and stuff Think about combining all of these into one project like I said so we have team colors and stuff all working together but uh, yeah that is a network chat box in a nutshell that you can add to a project in about an hour or so so anyways thanks for watching from the team here at unreal tech if you enjoyed this video and learned something please like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos we're on social media on the links on your screen if you dislike this video for some reason please tell us why so we can continually improve them based on your community input so we'll see you next time and remember create your way